Welcome to this new series of how and why not to panic when the going gets tough. And I'm going to take the emphasis off me and place it on this guitar. Now you will see that we have a clamp on a guitar neck and there's a reason for that. The guitar just fell over in my workshop and it fell on my headstock and it didn't snap off but it has cracked down this side and a little bit worse down this side. So you'll notice that I have it clamped up where the brake stops. I put a wedge in there and I'm going to fix this. Of course I'm going to tell the owner what has happened but I'm not going to tell him right now because this guitar has come in for a fret level and I'm going to do the fret level, I'm going to carry out all the work I was or I'm being paid to do and I'm going to fix uh, this because it fell over under my kit and it is in my jurisdiction and it is my problem and it's up to me to fix it so I'm going to crack on with it fixing it the way I've, I've fixed similar jobs before and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in some tie bond like so get it all in the cracks I'm going to push it in using feeler gauges so we can get right into the gaps and I'm going to glue every single area once that is done I will remove this wedge, get some more glue in there, keeping it free of the truss rod and I will clamp up the guitar for half a day and we'll see where we are in six or seven hours. Once that is done, I've cleaned up the areas, I will commence with the job in hand, get the work done and then I will talk to the owner. I will let the owner know what has happened in due time. I will not keep anything from him, even if it's a complete invisible mend. I still have to fix this, will fix this, and it will be as strong, if not stronger, than it was before. So, that is what I'm going to do. Um, I'll come back and show the results shortly. Right, so I've done cramming glue in there. I've just removed the wedge and the feeler gauge, and now I'm on to clean up both sides, and then we can get clamped. We're going to get some squeeze out that we can't control. We are not bothered about that in the slightest. So what I'm going to do now is, and I'm satisfied we've got some glue, we've got glue everywhere we need it to be. I'm going to do a clean and wipe. We may not get a complete invisible mend, but we'll do the best we can. It's all about the functionality of the guitar in the end. So let me get this cleaned up, get it clamped up, and I'll come back and show you the result shortly. So I have it all glued as it needs to be. Um, the fix is not going to be invisible as it is. Now if the owner wants me to get this touched up, I'll take it to my friend's paint shop and I'll pay him to sort it all out. Um, end of the day, because it is in my jurisdiction, it's my responsibility. Um, I know the glue joint is going to be fine. Uh, but that is as much as I can do right now. So as bad as I feel about it, I'm going to try not to let this get me down too much because end of the day, it was an accident. Um, you know, it wasn't done on purpose. And uh, if I feel bad about it, it's going to affect the rest of my work today. So I'm going to try not to feel bad about it, even though I do a little bit. I know James is a great guy. I know he will understand. Um, but that is as much as I can do right now. I will check the guitar over, make sure there's no more damage to it. Just one of those unfortunate things that happens um, you know, and I'll try and ensure that it doesn't happen again. So there you go. So the glue job went very well. Um, I have sanded the areas affected just to get level them off. And uh, it looks very good. It is not perfect. You do know, you can tell it has been snapped. That side especially, you can see it a bit. Uh, this side, a lot, lot better. You're not going to see this from a playing angle, playing position it looks fine there's a little area it feels really really smooth you'd never know by feeling it this this side just here there's a little bit missing there's a hole there i'm going to fill that in we'll dust where i need to do a little bit of super glue get that all matched in get it all sanded down really pleased with how it's gone but as always i will talk to the owner about this i'll let him know what has happened and what i've done to rectify it and um just sold some on ebay there i know what that is uh, but I will let the owner know what I've done to rectify it. That money I've just made there will pay for the spray job on this. And I will see if he wants me to go and get this re filled and re-sprayed uh, at my expense, of course. So I'm going to let him know. The neck structurally now is absolutely fine. 
uh, I can get on with the fret leveling as I was going to. Let's just have a look there. There you go. So about as much as I can show at this angle. So I'm really pleased with how that's gone and how it's glued. It will be a strong. It can be stronger than the actual. Actually, it was before because glue joints are stronger than just wood as is. So please with how that's gone. I've got to send this video to the owner. Let him know what's happened. Let him know that I will rectify the situation to his satisfaction, regardless of cost, because that is what I do. So Victor from Brett Friend signing off on this part of the video. Be good to each other, and I will talk to you soon.